I bet you made New Year's resolutions and I bet you've broken them all. And I bet because you've broken them all that you've just given up on them. So this video may seem a little bit late but it's not late, it's deliberate because I'm not talking about setting New Year's resolutions, I'm talking about setting goals. Goals that you can achieve and I'm going to talk to you about how to set those goals and how you can achieve them. So way, way back in 1979, Harvard did a study um, of people that were about to graduate and 84% of people didn't have a goal or didn't have a plan. 13% of people had goals but no plans and then 3% of people, very, very few people, had a goal and they had a plan. And when they went to look at those people um, like 10 years later, the people that had goals but no plan were doing twice as well as the people that had no plan. And then people that had goals and a plan doing 10 times as well as the people that had no goals or no plan. So just by setting goals and giving yourself a plan, we are already putting ourselves in a fantastic position to do really, really well. And if you want to achieve those goals, we need a plan to go with them. So when we're talking about setting goals, first thing you need to do is make sure it's something that you're in control of. You cannot set your goal of winning the lottery because well, you're not in control of that one. That's not a very good goal to set. If it's going to be doing five minutes of exercise each day, that is a good goal. You are in charge of that one. It's a good goal. It's good for your health. It's good for your mental and your physical health. And you're in charge of it. That's a good goal to set. Decide when you're going to achieve this goal by. Because, you know, I'm going to run a marathon is a great goal. It's achievable and you're in control of it. But... When are you going to do this? Are you going to do it this year? Are you going to do it next year? Are you going to do it in 10 years time? So give yourself kind of like a deadline. Make sure it's a realistic deadline. I could not run a marathon in a month. That would be bad. But next year, yeah, I, I could give myself a year's worth of training. So make sure whatever you say, you give yourself enough time to do it in. And write this all down. Write it on a post-it note and leave it by your door so that you see it every day when you're walking out. Write it down or make it the paper, the wallpaper on your phone so that you see it every time you check your messages. So that you're constantly reminded of what you want to achieve. And share it with other people. The reason that weight loss groups so work so well is because you're sharing your achievements, your failures with other people. People are constantly checking in with you to say, oh, how did you do? Oh, okay, you didn't do too well this week. That's okay. Next week will be better. And that's a really, really important thing, that if you slip up, if you fail, you don't give up on it completely. Because I know it's tempting, especially when you're kind of like revising or like you're trying to do something, oh, I didn't do anything today, or kind of like, oh, I missed like this session tomorrow, I won't do anything for the rest of the day. And I understand that feeling, I understand that feeling completely. But I read a really, really good analogy for this, and I can't remember who wrote it or where I wrote it, it just stuck in my head, that if you dropped your phone and the screen cracked, you'd pick it up and you'd stop the phone cracking anymore. You wouldn't then constantly stamp on your phone until the whole thing was completely ruined. So just because you failed a little bit, just because the phone cracked a little bit, doesn't mean you have to fail completely. Doesn't mean you have to completely ruin the phone. A tiny, tiny slip up is a slip up. That's it. It doesn't mean the whole thing's ruined. It doesn't mean you have to completely abandon all of your goals. A tiny slip up is just that. It's in the past now. Let's move past it. And then lastly, so that we can be really successful, is make a plan of how you're going to do this. So what are you going to do this week? What are you going to do next week? Um, the, um, the reason marathon running is a good example for this is because they have training plans and it gets harder. They're out on a mile each week. They have that long run. You know, if you want to do really, really well in maths, what are you going to study this week? What are you going to study this week? What are you going to study the next week after that? Make yourself a plan. If you can do this with other people so that you're making your plan and you're sharing it, maybe you can both work together in a little group of two, a little group of three. If you're going to work in a group, I wouldn't suggest going over five because then it's just a little bit gossipy. But working together is great. So make your plan, take the time, sit down, plan this out. How are you going to achieve these goals? Um, and then lastly, if you don't achieve them, don't beat yourself up about it. I think I had two last lists on that. But it doesn't matter because I'm not beating myself up about it. Um, make a new plan, make a new timescale, 
suggest what you're going to do to improve why you didn't do it well last time okay and you don't just have to do this at new year's you don't have to be new year's resolutions you can start these whenever you like